What is up guys, Sidestrafe back again, this time with a first impressions look of the Dungeon Siege 3 demo, uh, just came out, or at least I just found it on Steam, uh, of course I'm playing on the PC, however something a little bit different, this game does fully support uh, the Xbox 360 controller, plug it in and go, you're pretty much good to go, as you can see if I go into the options here, you see on the bottom I've got uh, the, the colored buttons to symbolize you know, the Xbox controller. Uh, now you're wondering, Chris, you, you love mouse and keyboard, why are you using the controller? Well, this kind of game, I think from the gameplay that I've seen, will probably be a little bit better with a controller instead of using mouse and keyboard. Uh, as you know, this game is typically a click attack game, just like Diablo. Uh, at least this game used to be like that, it used to be the competitor or answer to Diablo. Um, as I'm going through here, I also want to show you, obviously, with PC game, you're going to get extra options, full resolution, V-Sync, motion blur, anastropic filtering, multi-sample, anti-aliasing, and of course I got everything maxed out. Um, the engine does appear to be Unreal Engine, I believe it is. And uh, the game is being published by Square Enix and developed by Obsidian Entertainment, who's done a couple of games uh, with, with, uh, with Bioware or uh, sequels to games from Bioware. So. Let's let's hope it's pretty good. Let's see how it goes. Uh, since this game isn't being made by the same guys of the past, but uh, I'm gonna start a new game. I am gonna skip cutscenes uh, and kind of just try to. I'm gonna basically do an entire playthrough of the demo, and it'll probably be cut up we into multiple videos. Legion. As you can see, you got these Exiles types of cutscenes here. I'm gonna skip them just for the sake of the video, and I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. Um, looks like. Let's see what do we got here. Two characters in the in the full game, I believe there's four that you could choose from. I'm gonna go with this guy. He looks a little bit cooler. Take him. Looks like a pure melee type of character. I'm just gonna go with normal. I'm gonna skip this cutscene here, and here we are. Let's take a look around. Let's see what we got. This is probably okay. I'll move your character. It's probably gonna fami familiarize me with the controls at first. I'm gonna say right off the bat, um, good ambience, great uh, audio. The wind. Listen to the wind and the and the creaking of the trees, the torch burning. Ah, oh, there we go. Look, we got this different view when you press in. Nice light reflect uh, reflections there just looking at my guy and everything. I always take time when I first get into the game to just kind of like look at the graphics. Uh, again, it is, I believe, Unreal Engine. I might be wrong, I'm not sure, but it looks like Unreal Engine, so... Uh, it runs like it. It runs very smooth, so everything maxed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see what we got. Rotate, toggle between... Alright, I already figured those controls out. I'll probably be switching between these modes. Uh, I'm glad you do have this option. It makes it more like a traditional RPG uh, versus this mode, which can kind of get annoying sometimes if, you know, all the time. It's probably better for combat, but... Let's see what we got here. A broken up fence. That doesn't look good. Buildings on fire usually means bad things. Objective, look for survivors. All right, rolling in. Also does look like I have two weapons, which I've got a main attack there, all right. Right shoulder button to interact here. Again, guys, this game is fully you know compatible with mouse and keyboard, um, and I don't want to deter you from using the mouse and keyboard at all. If you feel more comfortable with it, I I totally understand. But I think if you have the option, go ahead and try out a controller too. All right, looks like you get you basically search guys and everything and read of what's going on, get some clues. Anything over here. Now typically the old Dungeon Siege games, if you search around, sometimes you'd you know you'd find more loot. And these games typically are about loot, so I hope that uh, this game is the same because I love loot and it makes it quite addicting. Alright, let's open the door. Whoa, again good ambience so far. Rumble pads kicking in. Okay. Right button to reveal the contents. This looks interactable. Inter interactive. <laughs> Is that a interactable? Is that a word? 
fierce is we hender. So it's a long sword or a two-handed sword. Let's see menu. Da, da, da. Okay, so it looks like here's our menu interface. It's kind of again, it's it's going through the tutorial of it of everything. So, so it shows you new what you got new, and it shows I've got my fierce we hander. Yep, it's got some extra stats on it. Does more attack, so I'm gonna equip that. And back out of this. Now again, that's on my back. So how do I actually switch to two-handed style? Oh, there we go. So that's my left shoulder button. Will switch me to my two-handed. I hear some screams, guys. That's not good. A to attack. Get us through the debris here. It's this piece of paper. Ooh, and a chest. Always takes me a while to get used to the controls, though, of course. Ooh, some armor. <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong buttons, of course. Some boots, it looked like. I'm going to equip those boots. Again, it shows you what you've got new. Tacits. Okay, equipping that. Now, what I'm going to be curious to see is how many different looks there are in these games, because that's always the question. I can't really tell. Uh, I didn't really check to see what they looked like before. Um, but with these games, to see how many different types of armor looks there are. I know sometimes they typically give you the same old models in the interest of development time, but it's kind of disappointing, so I hope it's a little bit better than I think it is. Well, well. Seems we oh, have incoming. Trying to escape the trap. Hit him with the shield. Feed the target, okay. So you just gotta pretty much keep hacking and slashing with him. Now, normally you'd be doing this with your mouse button if you're not uh, using a controller. Again, I, I, I do so far feel like the controller is probably going to be the better way to go with this game. Uh, obviously, it's not an MMO. Uh, it does have co op, although. However, the, the demo does not appear to have uh, an online co-op. I think it said local co-op for the demo, which is weird. So, I'm going to switch. Where's my, my Zwiehander? Uh, okay, there we go. I'm going to switch to this thing. Oh, what's that? Is that showing me which way to go? So I was like, oh, I just rushed in on those guys. Nice combat animations here. All right, those guys are down. They did not like this Zwiehander. Ooh, took him out. No, nope, he's not dead yet, but I... I hit him really hard. He should be dead. More inbound. All right, I got some. I got some for you. Switch attack. Okay. Boom. Nice. I like using this two-handed sword a lot more. The animations are a lot cooler. I'm not really a sword and board kind of guy. I love two-handed or, or dual wielding. So. In here. All right. Looks like we've got an ally here. Always good. Don't like playing alone. I'm going to pick up some loot. Of course, these games, guys, are all about searching for loot. So I'm going to take my time, you know, to look around for loot. See? There you go. Here's some uh, smash through barrels. And I'm really happy with this two-handed sword animation. Or set of animations, I should say. More stuff. What are those? Some gloves. I'm going to grab those gloves. I'm going to go to equip them. Okay. So, so far the game is satisfying the loot whore in me. Um, very happy with that. Is this going to break this stuff? No. Okay. I think that's it for that. I'm going to go check this guy out. Everyone else was dead. Are you alright? I'm fine. But who are you? Have we met? No. But I've seen portraits of the Montbaron family. And you can only be Hugh Montbaron's son. My name is Martin Giscard. And I'm a friend of Odo's, and a son of the Legion like you. I will say the voice acting so far is good. Uh, now we've got some typical traditional RPG choices here. I didn't see Odo upstairs. Could he still be alive? I hope so. If he did get out, maybe some of the others are with him. Damn, they found us again. We can't wait any longer. I've set a trap. Three kegs of gunpowder on the bridge below. Thought I'd cover my escape if they found me. All we need to do is light the fuses. Come on, to the bridge. Let's go light some fuses.
Again, it's like even though there's like a uh, sense of urgency, you still can't help but you're know, like this guy's like, what are you doing, dude? We gotta go light some fuses. Why are you like looking for? Why are you smashing barrels? It's like if you thought if you think about it, this being realistic, what the what the other player would be saying or whatnot. But you gotta search for. See, like here's a chest. So more loot. Ooh, a hauberk, it's aka a chest plate. Oops, keep hitting the wrong buttons. Get these. I don't know these. The green orbs. I'm assuming are health. Possibly, it looks like you got some man on the bottom there. I'm gonna get my hauberk. Which, I'm looking at the models. So far, the models between the two look the same. It says negative two, but it has better stats all around, I think. I'm gonna go with it, why not? It doesn't appear to have changed my looks too much, or I don't know if it did at all. Go on, light the fuses. I will, right after I smash these barrels for loot. Oh, I can smash these too. All right, I buy, I'm gonna light these fuses. Two more to light. Hurry. And the last. Let's go. I have a feeling these guys are gonna die. More cutscene, gonna cut through it. We've come a long way. I think we're close to the old Legion chapter house. If any of our friends is still alive, that's where they'll be. Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? Odo sent letters to all the descendants of the Legion. He wanted to gather them here, train them as Legionnaires, and take back the country. Most had already arrived when the mercenaries found us. They surrounded the estate. Must have killed the men who were on watch. They smashed through the windows and the doors, slaughtered everyone they could find. Then they set fire to the house. Those mercenary soldiers, have you fought them before? They were less Kanzi, I think. A wandering people, from the desert in the north. I have no idea who sent them here. Less Kanzi will fight for anyone who pays them. No. Our real enemy hasn't shown himself, or herself, not yet. Okay. In the again, really good voice acting, but in the interest of uh, the, the gameplay demo here, I'm kind of just gonna skip through a couple of these. Right. For Maybe you guys. Tell us more. Let's keep moving. We can talk more later. You're right. The chapter house isn't far. Follow me. All right. So again. Real. The only town in the valley. Let's see what he's got to say. Looks quiet right. from here. All right, here we go. So again, I am gonna take the time to look around at visuals. Uh, that's just the way I roll. So, got this. What the heck is this thing? Demo a ton. Oh, I don't want to swing at him. This is a save point for promotional purposes only. So these look like okay. So it's telling you that these are what save points looks like look like, but not active in the demo. What do we got? So I'm looking at the minimap too. I'm assuming, is this where we came from? I'm guessing, okay, yeah, so that's blocked. Ooh. See though, you go back to the way you came and there's loot. So again, now it's nice I got my buddy with me. I'll see how much he helps me if out. Our enemies knew we were at the estate. They may have guessed that we'd make a run for the chapter house. No help for it, though. That's where we agreed to meet. We'll have to stay sharp. They could come for us anywhere, at any time. 